this is awkward occurrence with awkward entertainment. So on today's video, I will be talking about Roe versus Wade being overturned. I took a few snippets from a New York Times article about it. I'm going to read what I can read, give my two cents, and end this video out. So as you can see on the screen, it reads, Access to abortion plummets as effects of Supreme Court ruling takes hold. Now what I skimmed from this article is, plain and simple, a handful of states are banning abortion. You can still get an abortion in some states. That may change. States that have to ban abortion, there are lawmakers, there are political figures trying to keep abortion not criminal. So they want abortions to continue. They want parents and doctors to not face murder charges or any type of charges for killing a life inside the womb. So there's a pushback against this decision all over America. There's a pushback against this decision. Let's continue. Now, how do I think this will end? How do I think this will end? I believe this Roe versus Wade fallout, which is we're just going to see more protests, protests during the summer about abortion. We're going to see mass protests all over America. You may see some in Canada and in the UK. Um, they're going to be saying that people want abortion. The majority want abortion. My body, my choice. They, they want it. It's kind of like homosexuality. If you're homosexual, it's your body, your choice. So if you choose to lay with the same sex and marry the same sex, that's your choice. It's going to be just like that. There's going to be... A protest battle, meaning people just protesting for abortion that may last months. And then you may get some type of legislation that's going to legalize abortion in all 50 states. That's how this is going to end. So for right now, right now, there's less abortion in America for right now. We will see how long that lasts, if it lasts at all. If it, you know, if it lasts at all, no abortion for 50 years in every state sounds good to me. Sounds good to me, but there's not going to be no abortion in 50 states for 50 years. It's not going to happen. This, it's just not. All right, so let's just enjoy this ride. Let's just enjoy this ride of Roe versus Wade being overturned in all these states having to stop abortion scheduled abortions so on and so on now i saw a few comments in this new york times article that just made my spot of senses go off just made my spot of senses tingle and i'm gonna just talk about those comments i'm just gonna talk about those comments i saw have my spot of senses all over the place all over the place all right we're gonna start on the second paragraph of this article I fear for my child. This is a woman talking to New York Times, giving her opinion. I fear for my child. I worry that she isn't going to have a choice, said Abby Putterman, 36 years old, who stood outside an abortion clinic in Overland Park, Kansas. Now, she fears her 12-year-old may not have the choice of abortion whenever this 12 year old gets pregnant she may get pregnant when she's 16 or when she's 30 but she wants her daughter to have a choice the choice you know to dig some type of weapon into her uterus and kill a baby and kill life so you want your daughter to have a choice to murder life to murder her baby and not be penalized for it that's that's what you want that's what you're saying that people people can have abortions without going to a clinic well if it's illegal you have an abortion at home that that's murder that's murder 
wherever that law applies in whatever state. That's the only problem I have with her statement. You want your daughter to actually be of the mindset that it's okay and accept it and the morality is it's okay to kill the baby in your stomach for whatever reason you feel so instead of giving up for adoption or getting a job and taking care of the baby like billions of mothers have done you realize billions of mothers have raised children just take one billion women they all had children they all raised their children <laughs> so what is your excuse for wanting to kill the baby. Don't tell me rape. I still don't think you should kill a baby. Because of rape. It's still a life. There have been women. Who gave birth to a baby. That was conceived through rape. There have been women. So Let's continue. Let's get on to the next. Paragraph. I found disturbing. Or tickled my spotted senses. But at the bottom of states, abortion is still legal in Kansas, but in Missouri, as of Friday, it is not legal. No. Yeah. But there's a ballot coming up. People go vote. If you want abortion to be illegal in Kansas, go vote. You know. The next piece. Is this the piece? Nope. But again, that goes back to me saying, that goes back to me saying, there's just going to be protests for abortion, against abortion, protests, the end result, abortion is going to be legal in all 50 states, just like homosexual marriage is legal in all 50 states. So let's get ready for some entertaining protests on CNN, MSNBC. This upcoming July, August, election season, primaries, we we know the song and dance. We know the song and dance. Let's continue. We know the song and dance. All right. This is still Miss Putterman. And Miss Putterman is the one who said she wants her 12-year-old to have a choice to murder her child. Her own 12-year-old child, if her 12-year-old had a baby whenever. So she wants her daughter to have a choice in the future to be able to murder her own baby and not go to jail for it. That's this Miss Perlman we're talking about. All right, let's read a quote, quote from Miss Perlman. Miss Putterman states, we don't believe in moral compromise. We don't want them to be guilty of murder. Then would be the parents and the doctor who... Does the abortion procedure, we don't want the parent who's having an abortion or the doctor doing the procedure to be charged with murder. Because we don't believe in moral compromise. That doesn't make sense to me. We don't believe in moral compromise. What, what do you mean? Isn't it moral comp? You're compromising your morals by having an abortion. Because when you're conceived in the womb, even before you're conceived... You have a more compass. That more compass comes from God. All right, all right, all right. So you have a moral compass. You compromise that moral compass. You say you don't believe by agreeing to abortion, by promoting abortion. You compromise your moral compass. Your moral compass is compromise. That statement by her made no sense to me. We don't believe in a moral compass. We don't believe in moral compromise. And we don't want them to be guilty of murder. Well, you have a moral compass as a human. And you compromise that compass by agreeing to abortion. So let's move on. Now. A neighbor was outside. He held a sign stating, love your preborn neighbor as yourself. 
that makes total sense. Love thy neighbor. Love thy neighbor as you love yourself, but love thy neighbor. A parent who's pregnant is told to love thy neighbor. Instead, they take thy neighbor in a car to a building, to a doctor. Doctor gets some tools, and a doctor kills that neighbor. How can you love thy neighbor if you're killing thy neighbor? And thy neighbor, thy neighbor would be the baby in that woman's stomach when she takes it to the abortion clinic and kills it. She did not love thy neighbor. Thy thy neighbor was right in her stomach. In her stomach. So if she hurt a baby, she might hurt her neighbor. Not saying she will, but you get the point of the story. You get the point of the story. All right, let's continue. Anything else I want to say about this before I end this out? Let's continue. Baby's body equals somewhat your body. Life wins. Life does win. Yeah, that baby body no longer becomes your body when you're pregnant. (laughs) It's in your body, but that's not your body, lady. That's not your body. Anything else I want to add to this? No. Um, Keep abortion illegal. I'm reading the pictures. Keep abortion illegal. Babies can live without it. Babies can live without abortions. That is just logic. That is just logic. Just logic. Those are words for women to live by. Keep abortion safe and legal. We're, we're down here. All right. So you, sh- this is good versus bad. So c- she says keep abortion safe and legal on the left. She's for abortion on the right. Face it. Abortion kills a person, which is true. So when you say keep abortion safe and legal... Okay, abortion is safe for who? I mean, the baby dies, and in a lot of cases, or some cases, a part of the mother dies. By that, I mean the mother, later on, is remorseful of her decision to have an abortion. Just like a, just like a pregnant woman, seven months down the road, Two months left to have a baby, and she loses the baby. She has a stillbirth, loses the baby, and she's sad. She's lost the baby. So there's remorse in some of these cases of abortion. There's remorse. Uh, Especially abortion where you signed off on it and went to a clinic. But this statement makes no sense. Keep abortion safe and legal. Okay, it would be safe for the parent because the procedures would be new and safer for the woman's body. It wouldn't be safe for the child because the child is dead. And it wouldn't be, and they want to keep it legal so, of course, the mother or the doctor won't go to jail. That is why the statement makes no sense to me. Keep abortion safe and legal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep, keep the murder of babies legal. And keep the procedures safe for the woman. Okay. Anything else? Anything else? Nothing else, everyone. Nothing else. Um, have a great day. Have a great day. Jesus loves you. Loves you. Jesus loves you. This has been Awkward Occurrence, Awkward Entertainment. And I will see you in the next video.